wondering what to do with all those plastic Easter eggs after Easter, from reading to math to exercise. I have some ideas for you and your kids coming up. So it's almost Easter and after you're done spending time with your family celebrating a very important holiday, you might be left with a bunch of plastic eggs. But before you store those away till next year, here are some ideas of things you can do with your kids from preschool to third grade, all academic areas. I'll have down below in the description the time codes for the specific academics. So if you just want like a reading idea or a math idea, you can just click on that and go right to that section. Otherwise, you can stick around and watch all of them. So for these activities, you will really just need a bunch of eggs and that's it. There is one STEM activity that you can use Play-Doh and just some cut up straws of different sizes for that activity, but it's optional. First, let's talk about some word work or phonics ideas that you can do. You can just write the uppercase and lowercase letter on each side of the egg and then they match them. Of course you would have them all there and so they would have to find the uppercase letter and the lowercase letter and then putting them together. That's the fine motor skills part which can be really tricky putting them together. My preschooler is still working on that. He can match all those letters but putting them together that's something else. So just the uppercase lowercase would be kind of a starting point or you could do the beginning letter and then the word family so working on you could do simple cbc consonant vowel consonant words like had and then once they once they connect it together then they can really just kind of twist it to make it to build another word there's bad dad tad sad bad so as you're making them you would do just the word family um, a word ending ought and am one that you can just do a lot of different consonants and then it'll make a word so they can spin it and make new words so that would be kind of the simple version of that you could have them record all the words they can do with that word family and then going a little beyond that you could do like here's ump 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 and then with that you could do letters and then also blends so the beginning st ump stump so it just is a little extra challenge there's another blend gr gr grump grump so that would be something you could do with a little bit older kids so it's working on blends and word families Okay, a little reading activity you could do is just with sight words. You can build different sight words. So you could put different parts of the word on each chunk of the egg, and then they have to match them all up. If you wanted to do a little bit more of a challenge, you could try to find like all the same color eggs or a bunch of the same color eggs and then put the words on there so they're if you got little smarties they're gonna they're gonna just match the colors <laughs> so like the word the you can break it apart the th goes together and then the e so if i had a bunch of blue ones it would make it a little bit trickier because they would have to then rely on the sight words like what letters go in that word right so that is a different reading activity you could do 
A math activity that you can do is just simple math facts. And that could be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So whatever your kiddo is working on, you could do that type of math. So you would you could write just the equation, the two plus one, and then the sum or the answer would be on the other side. So they will have to figure this part out and then find the answer. So you could break these into piles. You could have all the equation part in one pile. And so they'll pick it up, figure out the answer, and then search for it in the answer pile. You could also, if you had all one color egg, you could make it a little bit more of a challenge. So they'll not figure out the colors and then just go for that. Okay, if you wanna get your kids moving, here's one you can do for some exercise. So inside of the eggs, you could cut up little strips of paper and you could put different random activities on there. Jumping jacks, squats, push-ups, planks, um, anything you can think of just to get them moving. So for example, I've got plank count to 10. And so then you'll put that in there and you could hide these around your house if you're um, indoors still in winter weather or you can go outside and hide them around your yard and just have them pick an egg do it and uh, just get moving and have fun creative writing uh, informational writing opinion writing different genres and you can use just little um, strips of paper kind of like the exercise idea and stick in little um, sentence starters or ideas of something to write. So if you're homeschooling and you need like a writing activity, they could just pick an egg, see what it is, and then have a little free writing. Um, or they could do like write with a picture. My, I got a preschooler, so we'll do more like drawing the story. Um, if they're an older kid, obviously they can do a little bit more, make like a little book or something, just have fun with it. Okay, a science or STEM idea. STEM is, stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So it's um, more like real life uh, project-based kind of learning. So this one is fun. This is gonna be a building activity. So you can just do eggs if that's all you have, where you'll have them just build, just ask, tell them to build the tallest tower and so they'll you know, build however they can do that. And then you can add in some other components like the straws and Play-Doh, just as ideas and just see what they can create. And the fun thing about these STEM activities is you don't really give a whole bunch of instruction. You kind of just give the materials and then see what they build and create and it's kind of fun and then you could even link that to making a story out of it they might have fun with this but pick like a toy i don't know their favorite car or animal or something and then see if they can like make a strong enough structure to hold that up somehow so anyway you just kind of let their creative little engineering minds go and see what they come up with I hope this video has helped you find something to do with those Easter eggs after Easter. But if not, just put them away till next year. Leave a comment below if you have any other ideas to add for things to do with eggs. Please like this video and subscribe below, then you'll see that bell icon. You can click that and be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching and have a blessed Easter.